and they and they don't know who involved them. They so they, they start doing research, and the way they do research, the very successful thing is they go get the directory and find out who was on various jobs. Okay, makes sense. And they find Admiral Rayburn, and they find Admiral so and so, and they find a John Craven, and they don't give John Craven's age. Okay. Uh, they just say John Craven, chief scientist. Or, you see that, okay? Yes, sir. So, so they say John Craven, chief scientist, GS 1855 years ago. Where, where is he now? Well, he's got to be dead. That's right. They, they just make an assumption without checking. That's right. Of course they do. And then it, 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 it reads along, along that line, and uh, there's a story that I don't bother to tell you the story is, but when, the, when they were doing some senior guys that really wanted to do this thing, one of them suddenly said, I think that old bird Craven is still alive, okay? Yeah. All right. Well, all of a sudden, I got one of these classic calls in which the voice is tremulous, okay? And they get me on the phone, and they want to know, uh, are you that John Craven? <laughs> and and, and, uh, and they know it's, I know it's tremulous, because I think they think I might, I might have be related to him, or be dead, or so on. So. And I tell them, I start to tell them. And then comes the next question that they don't know how to ask, and that is, do I have Alzheimer's? <laughs> or, or, or do I have senility, or do I have things of this kind? <laughs> and the only way they can do that is to talk to me for a while, and I think you'll agree that when you talk to me for a while, I don't sound like an 85-year-old man, do I? No, sir, you do not. You are the sharpest individual I've talked to in a long time, and it's been my extreme pleasure and honor to speak with you. Okay, well, well, you see... But once they do that, finally they then realize that they're talking to the real John Craven. And then they tell me who they are and why they're calling me. And, then, <laughs> and now we have a real conversation, and I may get involved with their project, and they, they may commission me to, to do a study in connection with it and so on and so on. You see what I'm saying? Yes, sir, I do. Not. But, but, but increasingly, people who, like yourself who start out, why didn't you decide that I thought he was dead? Well, sir, I, 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 all I can say, and this is, I don't know how to put it any other way. Um, your book sat right to my left arm, uh, and I'm shooting a film right now, an independent film called Free Will. And yeah. it, it's about many things, but, but I had your book up on my desk where it could be seen in the shot where I'm ostensibly doing a, a radio talk show in this film. And, and your book just spoke to me. I had read it. I had watched Richard Souter, and I went, if this man is alive, this is child's play for him. He's going to know uh, how to uh, fix no, this. No, no, notice what you just said. You see, you see the thing is, is that when you did that book, in, in that book, I report the day that I think the Cold War is over, okay? Yes, sir. Uh, and, and you'll discover that my book is referenced up to the day that the Cold War is over, because anything I say after that in my book, they think is is history beyond me. You see what I'm saying? Yes, sir, I do. And, and, so, and, and, and that's the, the, the first thing is, and I, 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 I look at my own book to find out what I said in the past, okay? <laughs> and I discovered up to, up to that point, uh, that I said, publicly said in the past, and I discovered that, that in that book, I don't say public things in the past, even though I have written things in, in, the, in the public print that are really relevant it, 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 it past that point. And, and that it only goes to, to, to the point of, of, of why it is that less and less do I get calls from people like you, who, because it, because it, it, it's really not terribly credible that uh, that uh, a guy when I was at that time when I was in my early thirties, okay, it's not credible that a guy in my early thirties would would be a GS eighteen. Oh, very true, very true, because they make the assumption that because of your rank you had to be older to have achieved that much time uh, in government service to acquire the 18 rating. That's right. It turns out that it's a very good assumption. I acquired the GS-18 rating in a very, very strange and unusual way. But that didn't make a difference what it was. I acquired it because Admiral Rayburn decided, he says, I don't care, you were GS-12, I want you as my chief scientist. And I said, well, you can't have me as a chief scientist because I'm going to be a GS-18. And, uh, and he said, well, are you trying to tell me what I can do and what I can't do? <laughs>
I said, well, yeah, I guess so. He said, well, you come and be a chief scientist, and tomorrow I, uh, you, uh, we'll advertise you as a chief scientist, and we'll keep you in grade GS-12 because we have to keep you, but we will not, not tell anybody that, and we will increase your grade level every year as fast as we can increase it until you're a GS-18. But as far as I'm concerned, he's, he's telling me, you're, 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 you're filling a GS-18 job, and we're, we're being sound about the fact that you're only a GS-12. You see, see, see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Okay. So, so therefore, I'm, I'm really lying if I say I was chief scientist at, at that young age and I was a GS-18. I was a GS-18. They, they, I, they, I had a car and a flag and, and, and all the things that go along with GS-18s, you see. <laughs> oh, this is well. Well, uh, John, I uh, I can understand how people may have made the error, and I'm glad that I did not presume that that was the case. Um, I have known some uh, people who have gone through extraordinary lives, and when they reach their later years, I've found them to be, if anything, more clear than they were when they were younger and distracted by the duties at hand. Uh, and maybe that's just a, a, a gift that I've had in my own life that I've been able to encounter these people. But getting back to the Gulf, because there are other places I want to go with John Craven, uh, then if I have this correct, what I'm going to do if, uh, well, of course, you're not going to tell me what to do. Um, I will post this again on YouTube. I will then begin to put my team uh, and I'm involved with a, with a group of other writers um, who, due to the nature of things that we write, we are not in the mainstream brain-dead media, but we're fighting our way back in. We will then begin a barrage on BP, and we will send a link to this particular YouTube exchange between us until they get the message and somebody calls you from BP. And I will check back and to make sure they did. <laughs> okay, well... Well, I think that's fine. I say that, and, and let me put it, put it this way: if that's what you want to do, you, you you can do anything you want to do because you know why? Because you're the free press. Yes, sir. You see that? Uh, that that that's the thing that you have. If, if you were not the free press, if you were just some some guy from down the street, okay, uh, and you and, call, and, and you told me the guy down the street, this is what you're going to do. I'd say. Don't waste your time because you're only going to muddy the waters. Yep. You see that? Yes, sir. Okay. So, so thank you for calling, and uh, and 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 you you may not call me back again, or you may call me back again. Depending. Uh, one thing is, is you is you don't want to overfill my information budget. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. And so, 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 what you do in this? Story is completely up to you, okay? And 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 and, and you, you may be upset when, see, for example, people called me up and told me that this stuff was on the on the on the on the net, and they and they sent they, they sent the links to me, and I said to them, "Don't send me the links. I'm not going to look at them." Yeah. <laughs> well, the first one may not have been terribly impressive because, as I said, I didn't even know if I was going to get John Craven on the phone. I just went well, with it. All right. Okay. But, but all, I, uh, all I needed to know was that you had done something like that. That's all I needed to know. And, and I, 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 I can say to the person who reported it, well, did the guy say anything worthwhile? Or, you know, you see what I'm saying? In other words, I, 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 see, I don't want to fill my information budget with stuff that you've discovered that I haven't discovered because I want to have all my experiences relating to, to, to the Gulf to be personal experiences with personal observation, you see, it's very interesting. One of the things is, I ask myself, have I had any personal observation of uh, of the drilling sites at sea? I had one one experience. Okay. Right. It, wait, 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 wait. We need to hear about the experience. Okay. I was uh, was one of the oil companies who invited me to go out and visit an offshore oil thing, rig some. This is some years ago, out, out in the Gulf. Okay, so I came and they, they, uh, and my party, and they brought us down to a helicopter pad in uh, Houston, I guess it was, uh, no, in Galveston, Galveston. Okay, right. And at that time, I had a debate with with the helicopter pilot that uh, helicopters were dangerous. <laughs> and he gave me the classical answer: Look, Craven, there are all helicopter pilots. Uh, there are bold 
helicopter pilots, but there are no old 